Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because I have Katrina here with me, and she is with the Foxy Cat, with a K. You girls have to check her out. I'm gonna go ahead and put her link below. So today, we wanna do something kind of funky. I'm gonna do like a French braided do, kind of faux hawk it out a little bit, and create um, braids on the side, and kind of intertwine it into our updo. So it's gonna be really fun. I can't wait to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. To start this look off, I wanted to create a little bit of texture in her hair because her hair is very fine, it's very silky, so I like to use sea salt spray and I used um, Label M sea salt spray. I blow dried it in the opposite way it's going to lay for all that volume. So that's going to be very, very key to this hairstyle. So what we're going to do now is section the hair out and I'm going to create C sections on both sides. So almost from the high recession and then go to the back and towards behind the ear. And we're just gonna clip that whole section away for later. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our, our fit fringe braid technique. I'm gonna go ahead and take a small half moon section though up front, and I'm gonna lightly tease it before getting started. So I'm gonna use my Label M uh, brush and just kinda get there at the roots, adding a little bit of volume. Brushing it back just to take some of that uh, back combing out. So now we want to go ahead and divide the hair in three sections. So I'm just going to take a section of hair fairly lightly with my pinky and just moving it across. Now we're going to divide that hair in three. Now with a simple French braiding technique, you are just going from the right side into the middle. Now taking that left section, crossing it into the middle. Now we have that middle section here and we want to create, um, we want to connect it as we work down. So that needs to be connected. So we're just going to go ahead from our parting to the braid, take a section of hair and incorporate that to our right section. And now that whole section is going to go into the middle. I'm not using a lot of tension because I want a looser feel with this. So now we're on our left side, incorporating hair from the part to the braid. And that whole section now is going to go into the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and continue this technique all the way down to the nape of her neck, working right to left. Now that we've gotten to the nape of the neck, I'm just continuing doing a simple three-stranded braid, and I'm gonna secure the ends with an elastic. All right, so now that we've done a French braid through the center, I'm gonna drop the side sections and do a simple three-stranded braid on both sides. Key to this, though, is I'm gonna be braiding it away from the face, so my body position is gonna change a little bit, and I'm gonna over-direct it going back because we want to swoop it into our hairstyle. We don't want to cause any droop if we over direct it going forward. So that's very, very key. So we're just doing our simple free stranded braid and just over directing it towards the um, braid in the middle. I'm just going to secure the ends with an elastic and do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, so now what's gonna be really key to this hairstyle is pulling the braid out because we want it to be a lot fuller than it actually is. That's where the salt spray is gonna definitely come into play um, because the hair has memory since we have that texture in it. And also we do that back combing in the front here so that's gonna help the hair poof out. So I'm just gonna hold on to the braid slightly and then just pinch and pull it out. This is gonna help create our volume. Now with the braid, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull moving right to left and just stretch out the hair a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna take our simple French braid that we had pulled out and we're gonna actually tuck it under. So we're gonna do that by rolling it and then simply tucking it under and I'm gonna go ahead and push with my thumb against her head and then I'm gonna bobby pin it into place. I'm gonna use the blonde bobby pins and I'm doing this by feel. So I can feel her scalp, I can feel the braid, and I'm just gonna simply slide it through. I'm gonna add just a few. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and pancake both sides of the braid and drape it across. So we're gonna do this by just simply pulling on it. I like to work right to left. I like to pull on it right a few times and then work onto our left side, just easing the hair through um, the braid. All right, so now we wanna incorporate our braids into the style. So we're gonna do that by simply draping it across, bobby pin it, pinning it into place, and then taking the ends and tucking it under and pinning it into place underneath our braided roll. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and detail it out with a little bit of hairspray by Label M. Simply spray it all over, tug any pieces just to kind of loosen it up, and then maybe taking a few little pieces around the face and just pulling it out for a little bit of softness. So that is basically it. I really, really love this style. It kind of reminds me of something that Stephanie Brinkhoff did. Um, just that really fun, like faux hawk French braid feel with the braids coming back. It's um, beautiful and it's definitely a little on the edgy side. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to check me out on Instagram at the Confessions of a Hairstylist and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon.